newborn infections affect brain development. McLean Hospital neuroscientists have found that immune system activation that occurs as a result of infection shortly after birth can cause neurodevelopmental disorders. Even a brief episode of immune system activation within days of birth results in persistent changes in sleep patterns, with increases in epilepsy-like brain activity, a combination of symptoms common in autism spectrum disorder and other developmental conditions. The detailed findings are published in the January 12, 2018 issue of Neuropsychopharmacology. A growing body of evidence suggests that immune system activation caused by bacterial and viral infections play important roles in many brain disorders. Bill Carlison, professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School and chief of the Division of Basic Neuroscience at McLean Hospital, is the senior author of the paper. Previous research has established that immune activation during critical prenatal developmental periods can later produce features of autism spectrum disorder. The recent research has showed that immune activation during infancy also produce symptoms that are often seen in autism spectrum disorder and related conditions. This include decreased social interaction, aberrant communication, and increased repetitive behavior. In humans, Autism spectrum disorder is frequently associated with certain co-occurring medical conditions, such as sleep disorders and seizures. McLean researchers discovered that temporary immune system activation shortly after birth produced two main findings. First, immune activation causes long-time slow-wave sleep, a sleep phase often associated with systemic inflammation. Second, a dramatic increase in brief bouts of spike wave discharges, hallmark of a type of epilepsy-like brain activity that is not accompanied by full body seizures. The spike wave discharges are much more prevalent during periods of sleeping. When they occurred during wakefulness, they were accompanied by complete behavioral arrest, a period of no movement throughout the body and immediately followed by recovery of normal brain activity and movement. Collectively, these findings demonstrate that even a brief period of immune system activation during critical periods of early development can leave a long-term signature upon the brain. The immune system activation can produce these effects on its own, without any type of accompanying injury or trauma, provides a new insight on the many paths that can lead to abnormal brain function. Genetic vulnerabilities are other factors that can cause these types of abnormalities. Immune activation alone can produce these effects offers new hope for treatments that might reduce their severity, or prevent them altogether, in certain individuals. The researchers believe that studying early developmental immune activation may be valuable for diagnosing certain human illnesses and understanding how they develop. Persistent alterations in slow-wave sleep may represent a biomarker that could help differentiate immune-related neuropsychiatric conditions from those with other causes. Meanwhile, understanding epilepsy-like brain activity during both sleep and wakefulness may be useful in developing improved models of autism spectrum disorder. Studies in humans have shown that up to 60% of individuals with autism spectrum disorder experience spike wave discharges during sleep despite no diagnosis of clinical epilepsy. The spike wave discharges during wakefulness resemble absence seizures, which are characterized by a brief loss of consciousness, a blank stare, and cessation of movement, and are often confused with inattention or intellectual disability. While more research needs to be conducted, these findings are a significant step forward in unlocking the mystery of autism spectrum disorder and other developmental disorders. Thank you.